Well, people are fed up tonight with a home they call a neighborhood nuisance. Police say the owner who vandalized it with satanic symbols and profanity is now in jail on unrelated charges. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian is in Brownstown Township tonight with more on the controversy. According to police, Michael Keffer lived in this house with his kids. They were called out here for welfare checks and for harassment complaints by neighbors. Things actually got so bad that the police department coordinated with the school district to move a bus stop from the corner down the street. Did you guys ever feel unsafe? Yes. Yeah, a lot of the time. Nikki and Crystal DeBressi didn't always feel that way. They say their neighbor, Michael Keffer, started to unravel last year, sometimes leaving his kids outside in the cold for hours. I think he th maybe threw out like some sweatpants and a jacket for them and that was it. And I had to have my mom call the police to get them inside. Brownstown police say back in October, neighbors called asking for a welfare check. We found that there were no uh, incidents that required police intervention at that time. And over the course of the next couple weeks, we began to get calls from the neighborhood about erratic behavior going on at this house. A woman who lives close by gave us these videos. The first of Keffer seemingly arguing with police. Another showing him pacing around the house. And in this photo, he's actively vandalizing his own car. On the side of the house, it's literally threats like, which neighbor's next? Off camera, neighbors tell us Keffer has harassed them, threatened their lives, and even kept them up all night blasting music. This behavior spilled out into some of our neighboring communities and it started to lead to arrests. Uh, he was arrested in Flat Rock uh, for assault. Uh, he was released on bond there and subsequently was arrested for a felony in Taylor. Police Chief Jeffrey Watson says Keffer is locked up in the Wayne County Jail. In Brownstown, he's facing misdemeanor ordinance violations. They're working through the legal system so they can access the home and clean it up. We're doing everything we can to ameliorate the situation. It's not only property value, but you got school kids who walk by it. So we don't want people to see this kind of thing. Uh, it's not characteristic of our neighborhood. Police and city officials are asking people in this neighborhood to be patient while this case moves through the courts. In Brownstown, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right.